Oh yeah, the mic is hot. What we cooking and venting tonight? I don't know what we, but the mic is hot. What we cooking and venting tonight? Ultrasound entertainment up in this bi. All day. And we doing it with the uplifting goddess. We in here. We up in this motherfucker. We in here like swimwear. In there like swimwear, fruity balloons. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? How's our tribe? Grand Rising, Grand Rising, loved ones. I hope they're doing well. We got an impact show for y'all tonight. Hey, we're doing well if we're here. We're doing well if we're here. If everybody tapping in and you here, baby, you're doing well. Yeah. And all is well. Yes. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. Landed on us. <laughs> Constantly trying to bamboozle us. But we still keeping it moving. What you got tonight, moving. Uplifting Goddess? What you got tonight? Oh, uh, what we got? What we got? Let's see what we got. What we got? Oh, man. Oh, man, what's going on with all the celebrities? Y'all supposed to be uplifting us and motivating us, and y'all got all kind of drama going out, out here. Come on, let's talk about it. I see um, most recent. Which most one? Yeah, recent. that's what I was going to say. Which one? Which, which celebrity? To money, the most recent thing I done seen. Um, uh, we was... Uh, seeing something about no we ain't gonna talk about no celebrities let's just talk about the, the, the situation you mentioned to us well, yeah, about yeah i could i could do that i want to go to the celebrities first i want to know what your which what, what, what's your take on that but i don't know what, what celebrity well i'm talking about it as a whole like celebrities yeah i suppose that platforms that's uh being as mentors but you got more mess. You got more toxicity going on than anybody. Which so one? You mean to tell me if I get money, then I gotta deal with toxicity? Yeah. So it's like, okay, you know, they kind of judge the bottoms from the top. It's no more middle class poverty. It's just like a, it's like a just a line. You got the top. You got your high vibing and your low vibing. That's how they seem to be saying it right now. But at the end of the day, everybody's going through the same problems. So why is there a difference? Why does my my net worth have to do with anything when we all go through the same thing? Right. You have a relationship problems. You can't get your man to be faithful. You can't get your woman to stop spending money. Everybody's still going through the same problems. And but yet you still because you in a higher tax bracket, you pay more money for your problems. Which at the problems we have, we just live free. Yep, that's our problem. But it's free. I ain't gotta pay for it. All right. I don't have to pay more money than, you know, so, you know, we got a friend who, who's hopefully going to get a job soon, and, um, this person went from making a certain amount of money to a higher paying money, and we're just basically waiting to see, would that make us or break us, if you, the more money you make, the more the government takes right so if you your cost of living is high you got people begging yeah every time you go to the store is someone begging needing something it's like how much difference will this extra money make to this person when this person already got the odds against them whether they man or woman you feel me a black white yellow green Asian, 
uh, alien, non-alien, whatever you can consider yourselves as nowadays. We in a new world order, so everybody's free to be whoever the fuck they want to be nowadays, it seems like. So, hey, it is what it is. But it still seems like we own a financial. Oh, well, I can't kick it with her because she don't have enough money to be around us. Why do I still feel like I'm in high school and I'm still... I'm not trying to kick it with the popular kids. Do you feel like that? Yeah, I'm the same way. Like, I mean, like, I'm not about to make money just to go sit at the table with the popular kids. I just want to survive. Is there something wrong with that? Ain't nothing wrong with it with me. So, when... We start voicing our opinions about, hey, you can't pay me to sit at your table. When do the non-popular kids realize they the new popular kids? 12th grade? No, no, no. I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about us <laughs> being in our 20s and 30s trying to be, trying to catch up to the Joneses. See, I consider the Joneses. You remember saying, oh, you over there trying to keep up with the Joneses. Yeah. The Joneses is the popular kids table, right? right. And all of us, we, we got the special needs table. We got all kind of other tables going on. We can't kick it at the popular table. We got the geek squad, the autistic and special needs squad. We got the the rainbow squad, which is the bisexuals and the, the gays and lesbians. Now, I mean, just look at it like, I mean, I feel like I'm living in high school days. If you go outside, that's exactly what it would look like. That's what I feel like when I go outside my home. I feel like I'm in high school you know you got your popular kids you got your your what is it the student body group you got the athletes it seems like you're still living the same lifestyle over and over again yeah I didn't like high school I did school so you know I, I'm ready to ditch this type of shit too <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, I can ditch this shit. I do not have to be part of this. That we try not to be. You know, uh, I don't know what's the best for us right now, but all I can say is do what's the best for you. Like, look at your feet. Like, like, literally stand up, look at your feet and say, hey, what... The, the move I need to make, what is the next move for me? Meaning it ain't about uh, your baby mama, your cousins, your, your homegirls, your mama, your daddy, your nobody. What is the next move for me? Just act like they already passed away. Like, okay, what if they wasn't here? What would I have to do if right. they wasn't here? Yeah. I have to make sure I eat. I got to make sure I have a roof over my head. I have to have transportation to get me to take care of business, whether it's bus, whatever. Right? Because some people are going to have to start back at the bottoms again. And they're not going to understand how to do it. They're going to want to kill themselves. No need to do, kill yourself. If there was always someone before you who had to do it. So that was Martin Luther King. That's why everybody did what they did before us so that way we know no matter how hard times get we will always be there to lead you to the light right on to the light like there's always no matter how dark your tunnel is no matter how low you are no matter how bad you think you're doing at the end of the day Look towards the light. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And I promise you, you will see light. Turn your head. 
do. I don't know what you need to do. Put position yourself. Maybe you need to just turn your body. Turn your body in another direction. And you will see like with your eyes closed. Right? That gives you the motivation. Like, man, I see light. And I'm not even in light. So that lets me know that I can still get my ass up out of this shit. What did I do 20 years ago? What did I do 10 years ago when I was in this situation? Look to the to what you did before. How did you get yourself here? Right? We living. We might be eating. We might be okay right now. Okay? But what's about to come, we do not know. I'm worried because it's, it's, it seems like it's a very important issue for everyone to be woke now but no one's asking why is it why why is it like get your ass up come on wake up wake up wake up wake up it's no more sitting down it's it's like you have to it's like they literally pouring downloads down our throats and we like hold up wait a minute wait wait I, hey it's like being i love lucy at the county factory and she trying to put candies in her bra and down her shits and everything like hold on wait a minute I, that's how i feel about these fucking downloads right now like wait a minute i'm trying to take it in dissect it figure it out no 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 bitch just take this shit down your throat well fuck me because some shit ain't getting passed along because I don't know what that shit was. I don't know. I missed it. I missed it. And I, I hope that the next, it's like assembly line, right? I hope the next person grab it because I, I, I didn't get a chance to get it. So explain to the people who don't know what, what a download is. A download is information that you have never came across someone has never told you there was no possible way for you to even get this information from another person it had to come through something else my download is technology because i don't deal with people other people's downloads might be from other people because that's the only thing they deal with it just depends on how they can get you to keep to get what you need right okay that's just like some kids breastfeed some kids a bottle feed however you need to get this shit you're gonna get it right so i can't say that my downloads is everyone else's downloads i could be talking to a, a, a certain individual on a on a win, wednesday and then thursday I'm getting all kind of information based on the conversation that I just had. So that's why I take it as a download. <clears throat> if it's not a download, it could be someone trying to, because you got to be careful with the downloads. I uh, fact check every fucking thing, everything. A anything that comes through my facility, is getting double checked so i'm that worker who's going to take my job very fucking seriously right so anything come through here yeah, yeah it's a download but is it useful we filtering baby we're not a sponge we're trying to because see i am an undiagnosed person of mental issues so i cannot be overwhelmed with i can't be over I overthink so you can literally over pour into me and I would let the shit run like bro this ain't that shit do me so in order for me not to do that I kind of like sip through the shit hey just pour me a pal right here and then I sip through it I fine tune that shit I go through that shit through a, a comb right find the important shit pass it and share it on my social media i do not fucking play i do not care what motherfuckers said before me because if they if they could have did it they would have did it right so when you when i wake up and start getting downloads i'm like well shit how important is this to the collective the collective 
is the people that is continually living and surviving here today. Okay, the collective is the ones who with the emotions, the chosen ones, the star seeds, the everybody, everybody, if you want to consider yourself an alien, you are a collective of your people. I am a hybrid, meaning I'm connected to the all, meaning I'm connected to Mother Earth, on down to the devil, demons, and everything. I'm connected. I don't have... That's why I have 17 different personalities. It's called, there's, there's, as time go by, they're starting to put names to our shit so we can understand ourselves better. Um, they call it, it's not multiple personalities, it's like by personality disorder. Like, you have 17 different personalities. I could be a kid one day. I could be an adult one day. I could be a old man, old white man. You know what I'm saying? I, I got multiple personalities. That's why, you know, certain people, they date me like it's different. Like, look, I just need time to myself. It's not personal. I don't, hell, if I don't want to deal with you, I don't want to deal with no one else. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not personal. It's not about digging balls and pussy and titties is just about I need <clears throat> my time to think you know it's like uh, being a vampire and going into your coffin I just want to be in my coffin I don't want to come out I don't want to eat I don't want nothing from y'all I just want to get to the next century I guess that was somebody else, because I don't know nothing about no centuries and decades, okay? I guess we do have vampire ancestors, because he's, he's skipping this whole decade. He don't give a fuck. He ain't fucking with y'all. He said, half y'all niggas got STDs and your blood is dirty. Okay, so that was the vampire ancestors. All right. Said your blood is too dirty for us to fuck with you. All right, now let's keep moving. Anybody else want to chime in while I'm fucking talking and ain't paid no fucking rent? <laughs> I ain't gonna tell y'all niggas no more. Don't pop up in my head. See, that's the shit I'm talking about. Now, why, how would I know about some fucking vampires? Okay, I don't know shit about no vampires. Hell, I'm trying to do a live conversation. I don't need y'all extra shit. Because then they going to start asking questions that I don't have the answers to. You see how they set me up? Do you see this? Do you see how they about to set me up for failure? Who finna set so you now, up? So now they're going to be like, well, a Clifton goddess, she's a vampire. Bitch, I ain't said I was a fucking vampire. I said these ancestors tapped into my ass while I was talking about some other shit. Didn't I not say that? Yeah. I feel like I'm having a f five different conversation here. Oh, let me grieve. Breathe. Wusa. Breathe deep, Wusa. Okay. What was our conversation about again? You were talking about vampires. No, 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 don't, no, no, don't know them people up in here. They ain't pay no rent. Um, we was talking about <laughs> something else. After y'all done ate up all the animals and shit. I ain't not mad at them too. They can't kill. They don't nobody yet. Listen, didn't I say ass, gas, or cash? Don't nobody ride this train for free? Ass, sure. gas, or cash? Ass, gas. Meaning put some petrol in my ride. Ass, gas, or cash. Or give me some cash to get me some petrol. Yeah, that's what you said. They keep playing with me. Don't so let them play the with you. Goddess, um, if you follow the uplifting goddess, you know that, you know, she's connected to the ancestors and the ancestors challenge ch me, challenge me, 
I'm because that's me. I don't know what the hell they do, but they better get away from me because they don't pay. They need some money. I'm sorry. Everybody got to pay to play. You want to play? You got to pay. <laughs> Ancestors, the living, the dead, the, 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 the everybody, everybody got to pay to play. Get the hell away from me. Hell, made me forget what I was talking about. <laughs> no, don't forget now. No, let's go back before they start talking about dirty blood and all this. I ain't concerned. I don't drink blood, so I ain't concerned about it. Listen, that's what I'm talking about. Look, I eat red meat. I eat pork. I'm, I can't be religious because I'm spiritual, right? All I care about is Mother Earth. Sorry, that's my microwave. Um, I'm spiritual. I care about the plants. I care about Mother Earth. I don't care about nothing else. Now they want to be mad. Oh, what you mad about? What you mad for? What are they mad at? I don't know. I'm waiting for they ask the answer. I told you I'm having a three. Three conversations at one time? Mm-hmm. But I check them too. I don't know. No, don't check me. Check yourself, boo. I'm considered 5150. I take medication. But I know that I'm important to this world. So y'all ain't gonna tell me I'm crazy. I'm important to this planet. I think if I die, the planet's gonna die. That's how I truly feel. I feel the same way. We die off, the planet die off. Because she loved us. Mother Earth, I think Mother Earth kissed us before we was born. Jesus, or God, and Mother Earth. They're my babies. And you know, when your mama fucking love you, cause it don't matter what the fuck you do, man. She gonna be like, I had that nigga kill two rock rollers and do a drive-by, rob a, uh, 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 Amazon truck. That's still my baby, bitch. I don't give a fuck what he done did. He's still my baby. He's all I got. And if he out there fucking up, that's because you motherfuckers done caused him to do it. Could you imagine when all the the angels in the world become dark and then they start doing crooked shit? The people that was put on this planet or Earth who was Earth angels, they are the ones out doing the crooked shit. Because they feel like in this place belong to them. So now what are we going to do? When the earth angels don't want to protect you no more, what do you think your money going to do? What is it going to do? What's the money going to do? Cool thing about it. There is a reason why gangsters... Okay, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. What the heck? Okay, the shit they did to Tookie Williams. <laughs> Don't think these niggas going to go get away with it. You hear me? Y'all niggas trying to move on to the next shit. Oh, Nipsey. And this, my nigga, what about Tookie? Because we was about this life before any of these niggas. Because that's why I literally got mad at the Black Lives Matter, right? Like, bruh, 
do you not understand what was going on in the 80s and the 90s? How y'all niggas gonna come in 2022 and act like shit ain't been popping off all your fucking life? Nigga, you wanna be a gangster? You wanna be about this life? Nigga, check yourself. Homie, who your dead homies? Where'd you come from? What the fuck is you representing? You always want to check somebody, take another nigga life. Nigga, check yourself. Check this yourself. This is how real men was raised. This is how I was raised about men, right? And if you wasn't a real nigga, you couldn't sit at a real nigga table. And I mean a real nigga, like, yeah, so what, and? Yeah, I killed that nigga, and? What you gonna do about it? And that's how Tupac was. If you really think about it, that's just how Tupac was. My nigga, only God will judge me. I will get there and do whatever. But if you notice Pac's situation, his his energy, his, his omnipresence is all over this motherfucker. Every time I look up, here go Tupac's face. But you know what I don't see? is Tupac when he was in the penitentiary. Let's see Tupac with that fucked up ass hairline. Don't show me Tupac when he was doing good. Show me Tupac when he was doing bad. I want to see Tupac with an afro. And some dreads or some shit. Don't show me Pac when he was thug life and out here. Guess what's gonna happen to uh, Snoop Dogg? Same shit with him. Bro, we will. Bro, this nigga just don't know. My nigga, you about to, you about to uh, rebuild that shit just for the next generation to take over it. So, big homie, just understand. Thank you. And go on about your business, because niggas ain't talking about Snoop when he died, but I bet you. So help me God, I feel like I'm still be dealing with Tupac 50 years from now. I don't want to hear Tupac songs on the radio 20 years from now. Why not? Why not? Because I did, I grew up with him in 96. How much Tupac do you niggas need? How much <laughs> learning does it take, my nigga? I grew up on his ass. I, I, shit, I probably am his ass. Hell, he raised my ass. Do you think I want to just... That's just like you dealing with someone who raised you even after they died. Like, my nigga, why am I still hearing your voice? That's like um, having like someone who is... Uh, like a military person in your life who's just over like bro I, why am I still just war always on that kill 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 shit like my nigga I was raised on this shit right now I'm a woman I don't think it's okay for me to keep being on some Tupac killer 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 shit when you gonna let me go huh I can't be feminine and be on some Tupac shit at the same fucking time. Why not? Why not? Because I haven't learned how to balance up the difference. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Meaning, I don't... I, okay, I didn't have no femininity because maybe I wouldn't even fuck with this side in the first place, right? So now, how do I learn femininity after being raised around this fuck shit all my life? Put on some eyebrows and some eyelashes? That doesn't make me feel feminine. I need to have it within myself. I think people need to hear that again. Say that again. I need to have it within myself. Eyelashes and lipstick and makeup don't make me a woman. Yes. Booty, titties, none of that shit. It's a mentality. It's a feeling. It's something that makes me feel like, okay, say if I love a man, right? And I want to lay up next to him. That's what makes me feel feminine, right? But if I'm not laying next to him, 
Nigga, I'm on some gangsta. Nigga, it's, it is what it is. Let's go. It's death over everything. That's my mentality. From being raised by listening to fucking Tupac all my life. <laughs> I literally, you know what I'm saying, I only act like a woman when I'm with a man. If I'm not with a man, then I'm not acting like a woman. Because it's, it's, it's me against the world when I'm not with that man. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's me against the world. That's what Tupac said. No, but I mean, really <laughs> understand, like, man, if I'm not... If I'm okay as a woman, put yourself in a woman's say if I'm not with my man, then I have to be the man right, to protect right. myself from other men. Yeah. Does that am I going crazy? No, nah, you ain't going crazy. Does this crazy. make sense? Because yeah, I don't want to just be sense. talking and not making any sense. No, it makes sense. Okay. Okay, cause I just let your audience be clear, that's all. I get frustrated and excuse my deliverance because as I talk I get frustrated because I even have to talk about some shit that we should have learned 20 years ago. Yeah. And it's very frustrating. So if I hurt some people's feelings, hey, charge it to the game cuz. I ain't gonna tell you that no more. Yeah, y'all heard that. Tried to the gang. That's why the women are so aggressive. That's why the women act like men. That's why the men is acting like women. Like, man. Ugh. And then you want to think somebody jealous. Man, that half the niggas and bitches y'all married to is creeping why y'all not looking but they want that money though can you honestly say that a person would choose you over money no I have been in experiences and situations where I know a person would be like, I don't give a fuck how much you pay me. I will always feel safe being around her. You know, like, and that's me. If I can't be safe, feel safe around you, I don't want to be with you, right? And then once I feel that safe around you, can't nobody pay me to get away from you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's just our street shit. I mean, I, I you know I got a lot of quirks. I mean, you heard me say about my autism. Now I'm talking about me being in the streets all my life. I grew up in the streets from 12 to 18, and then you know I tried to you know I tried to focus on work because you got to make money. Right, so you can't bring that gang banging shit into your career life, right? So after you get a certain age, you take it from the streets to okay, well, let me focus on my future. You know, you have to start growing up. You start to uh, manifest manifestus. Manifor what is it when you could start to go from a caterpillar? And you go into the cocoon, and then you metamorphosis. Turn into a butterfly. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. No metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Yeah. Okay. Every time, every ten years, you're going to go through this, whether it's good, negative, or positive. So I figure, like, if my my last 10 years have good karma then hopefully my next 10 years will harvest the things of my last 10 years you understand what i'm saying right 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 now i'm going to give you an example my 20s had was uh my 20s was karma 
from all the shit that I did as a kid. From smoking, drinking, hurting people, whatever the fuck I did from 12 to 19, that shit haunted me from 20 to 29, right? Okay, so I'm dealing with my karma. Now, 30 to 40 has been me fixing the karma from the shit I did as a kid. Now, do you understand? Y'all still with me now? Y'all hear me? Stay focused, ho. Put your eagle eyes on so you can you can see what the fuck I'm talking about. Um. Now you're in your thirties. You're fixing all the shit from your past, right? Now here I am in my forties, and now I got motherfuckers from my kid years on up coming back and trying to tell me about myself oh well you done change how dare you leave us how dare you do this bitch how dare you didn't do what the fuck you, I did so don't come bringing that sad story and try to play on my heartstrings cause one thing I am I am the uplifting goddess but bitch I will check you at the doorstep do you want help or do you want to dwell on the fucking past? Because that's not going on over here in my, in, 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 my, in my little corner that I got. I only got a little corner. And so help me, the little corner that I do have, I'm not about to let nobody get up in there and take it. Whether it's my mama or my dead daddy. So I'm letting y'all niggas know spirit can take my corner or the living can take my corner. So everyone who's coming up after the uplifting goddess will be on Instagram looking at pages that I try to delete, but they do not want to delete them. So be it. But you bring you walk your ass up over here. You're going to be limping back. And that's per the ancestors. All right, I'm sorry. I got I got caught up in you know. You might be walking over, to, but you're limping speak back. They peace. They had to speak their peace. I'm sorry, the ancestors. My ancestors are gangsters, dead homies that y'all niggas don't remember. That y'all just you know even military people that don't fall for this fucking country. And you motherfuckers just move on with y'all fucking lives. Don't pay homage to nothing. Y'all don't respect nothing. Y'all don't honor shit. All you do is honor drugs, sex. And what else they honor? Money. Drugs, sex. Money. And money. Yes, that part right there. Thank you. That's all, that's all they fucking worship. But guess what? These, them motherfuckers who worship money, they can't fix shit, they can't build shit, they can't do shit with their fucking hands. That's why they got to make the money to pay another motherfucker to do the shit they need to do their damn self. If I need to build a house, baby, I'm going to learn how to build a house. Build some fucking shelter. So be be on the lookout, uplifting goddess. Hopefully, in the future, you know she's gonna have a garden, you know, and we're gonna be selling healing plants, you know, for you know our children with scars, because you motherfuckers don't know how to raise no babies. You motherfuckers don't know how to raise no children. Do you not see these young children, these young people putting their babies on on the fucking computer? Bitch, you are literally setting your children up for failure in the future. Do you not see the pe the pedophiles literally like, oh yeah, I'm gonna need that one. You dirty hoes. Dirty niggas. Why is you putting your baby out here, all out of here in, in the streets? Why, shit. 30 years ago, we was telling you hoes to get your babies out the streets. Now, you're putting your babies in the fucking streets. What the fuck is going on out here? 
check yourself and stop trying to check others. Always worrying about what the next motherfucker doing. Nigga, don't worry about what the next motherfucker doing. Focus on your fucking self. Put yourself in a box and figure your shit out. Well, I need some pussy. I need some dick. I need money. I need drugs. Nigga, you need the Lord. Lord. Tell him again. Oh, oh, Lord. You sound like somebody to drag you down back out. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't, man. You ain't been through no shit till you heard a nigga get dragged to a back alley. Ah! Okay, sorry. Man, sorry, I don't got lucky. Y'all done took me back to the nineties. Stop taking me back to the nineties. I'm trying to stay in twenty twenty two. Don't let them take you back. Please don't take me back. Because if it didn't heal, it didn't save us. We need new information. I'm a Palladian. I think I'm a Palladian. I think I'm a hybrid. I just think I'm everything. Get put, just mixed. I'm a mutt. On Crip, I'm a mutt. Meaning that I'm mixed up with everything. So that way y'all can't touch shit. Because if you touch me, all y'all shit about to go to fucking hell. And I mean, in a plot of bag, on fire. Like old girl on... Uh, waiting to excel when she throw the cigarette in the car and then she go Poosh, bitch that's what the fuck we talking about Poosh, your shit now let's, let, let, let's talk about these scary motherfuckers who don't know where they stand at hey is your life going to shit yes or no if you say yes then you good if you say no then baby, your shit about to go push the fuck up in your face. And why? It's just right down what you've been doing the last 30 years of your life. And the reason why that shit about to go push. And blame it on the uplifting goddess. Because she said push on all y'all fucking shit, right? So we're going to let all this shit die the fuck off. And we're going to bring this new shit up in here. Because, you know, I got someone, you know, come to me. And, and I, they say, well, you know, they, they don't listen to our shit. They don't fuck with our shit, okay? Well, let they shit die the fuck off. And then they ain't got no choice but to listen to our shit. Because that's all this shit going to be left. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that was film. I swear I don't play shit like that. You ain't never heard me say that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I love my fucking folks. I love them to death. I love my dead folks. I love my dead folks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I could gang bang and still be, man, I could still, I could still be me. Like, they, they kept telling me that I couldn't be me, right? And, and still be loved by the Lord. You, you seen that right there. That, that, dang, man, that was all that, man, that came from. That's all I needed, man, that's all I needed. I don't care how fucked up I am. I just want to be loved. Now, if I can't be loved by no fucking humans, these I could be loved by God. These I could be loved by the ancestors and the ones that came before me. And that's why I chose the name Uplifting Goddess. So whatever, okay. People think that the Uplifting Goddess stands for uplifting others no bitch i'm uplifting myself right 
as soon as I figure out what is going to get the next generation, which is these pandemic babies, we really like, literally like, casting you hoes out, right? They, they can cast the fuck out, niggas, bitches, everything, right? And we coming through with the new generation from 2019 on down, baby. We teaching, we, we did, that's where we, we, everything I'm learning right now is to teach my babies and my grandchildren. It ain't about the motherfuckers that's already been here. And I don't give a fuck. Roll up. Show up. So I can show the fuck out. Because I love to show out. The motherfuckers that know me, they be like, please don't get her started. Please. Like, look, I, 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 look, I'll pay you money to get the fuck on. Because I don't want her ass to be. You know what I'm saying? So, in order to keep me within my my little four corners, I got four corners within myself, right? So, if you step in my fucking box, that means you done violated my social dis uh, social distancing. The social distancing. You don't give a fuck about six feet. And my nigga. I tell you, I don't give a fuck about no pandemic, nigga. You step your ass over here. Be prepared to walk your ass out of here with your dick in your hands. Shit. 